Hello and welcome to our latest roundup of the best science videos out there on the web. We've got 10 fascinating clips for you this month, so let's jump right in. First up, number 10. As far as birds go, toucans are pretty cool, but how they stay that way has been a mystery. Last year, scientists found that that colorful bill does more than just snag fruit. The bright areas in this thermal video show heat escaping from the bird's beak. By bringing warm blood near the surface, it acts as a natural radiator keeping the bird cool. Scientists recently surveyed over 200 species of birds and found that the size of their bills is linked to latitude and climate. The colder the average temperature, the smaller the bill. At number nine, you've heard of a windmill, how about a light mill? This tiny update of an ancient design is just 100 nanometers across and made of gold. It's embedded in a much larger silica disc. Shine a laser on it and it begins to spin, generating enough torque to turn the whole disc. Change the frequency of the light and the mill spins in the opposite direction. The technology could be a new way to power and control nanobots. Number eight, watching paint dry isn't exactly riveting, but you can't say the same for Mars. This animation condenses billions of years of Martian history to show just how quickly the planet dried up, relatively speaking, of course. The Mars Express Orbiter recently scanned craters in the northern lowlands of the red planet. The violent impacts that form the craters also expose crust from the past, some of which contain mineral evidence of ancient liquid water. Scientists say it's evidence that liquid water helped change the Martian landscape at least four billion years ago. At number seven, ancient Greek philosophers were obsessed with the harmony of the heavenly spheres. Now, scientists can listen to the music of at least one of the celestial bodies. This is a recording of magnetic resonance in the outer layers of the sun. Yeah, maybe it's better on a second listen. Well, it won't exactly top the pop charts, but it could help scientists better understand the physics of the sun. On to number six. Cancer can be difficult to distinguish from healthy tissue, but a new drug makes it impossible to miss. The drug is inserted into the bladder and absorbs into the surrounding tissue. It turns cancer fluorescent pink so that's easier for surgeons to see and remove. The drug was approved for US markets in May and is now being modified to help detect colon cancer. We've reached the halfway point. Number five takes us to Switzerland for some precision engineered insects. This gadget takes inspiration from some of nature's best jumpers. It stores energy in its legs, then releases it to leap many times its own height. The device is one of a number of insect inspired mechanisms, like this glider with retractable jaws. When it hits a wall or other surface, it can dig in and perch. A motor in the back retracts the needles when it's time to let go. Devices like these could help swarms of future robot insects monitor events like forest fires or floods. At number four, we have a glimpse of what sustainable driving might one day look like. The Automotive X Prize competition to build a car that averages 100 miles per gallon, or the equivalent in electric power, is in full swing. Over 100 teams originally entered, but now just 12 remain. There are two classes. Mainstream cars must seat four people and have a range of 200 miles on one tank of gas or battery charge. Alternative cars only need to seat two people and have a 100 mile range. All cars must also pass a number of handling and safety tests. The competition moves to the finals in July. Teams will compete in time trials to see who can edge out the others while maintaining that magic 100 mile per gallon efficiency. Close World Cup matches may have twisted your guts, but I guarantee you had it much easier than this guy. At number three, the multiple cells in this algae can cooperate to turn the whole thing inside out. It's just one of many complex tricks that multi-celled life can pull off. Scientists thought multi-celled algae like this required special proteins, but now they've shown that they use pretty much the same basic tools as their single-celled cousins. Life is thought to have transitioned from single cells to many around 500 million years ago. This new finding gives clues as to how it might have happened. At number two, there are no retirement homes for old satellites. Each must either sail away into space or burn up in the atmosphere. Japan's Hayabusa satellite was launched in 2003 and was the first to make contact with an asteroid. It re-entered Earth's atmosphere on June 13th for a final fiery death ride. Before the plunge, the satellite dispatched a capsule to Earth that may contain bits of the asteroid. 
Researchers have found the capsule and will know in a few months if the mission was successful. And now for this month's number one video. Our final clip shows us that even at the smallest scales, life is a struggle of tooth and uh, just, just tooth, really. At number one, this wriggly sucker could be the most vicious worm in the world. It all depends on how it was raised. If the roundworm grows up with an abundant supply of tiny bacteria for food, it grows a narrow mouth, good for sucking up docile nuggets. But if it grows up surrounded by other worms, all competing for the same food, it grows a wide mouth full of teeth, the better to rip into its neighbors and eat their guts. This carnage under the microscope lends a rather violent new perspective on that whole nature versus nurture thing. Well, that's it. We've reached the end of this month's roundup. We'll be back in August, but in the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. If you've seen a cool science video online, or you just want to say hi, you can hit us up on Twitter at at New Scientist TV, drop us a comment on YouTube, or get in touch through our website. For New Scientist TV, I'm McGregor Campbell in San Francisco. Thanks for watching.